everybody, welcome back to Lyrical Resonance, where we believe that where words fail, music speaks. I am getting into a song that uh, I have been asked to do for about a month now, and I'm super slow at getting to stuff, but this is the artist Ka and his song, Ours. Uh, I believe it's from, uh, I'm not sure if it's a full album or if it's an EP, but it's called Honor Killed the Samurai. I don't know anything about this uh, artist at all never heard him before so i'm excited to get into this this was recommended to me by data rage and uh so thank you for the recommendation i'm excited to check this out uh if you're new here thank you so much for taking the time to watch i really appreciate it what i try to do is listen to music and look for god within the music whether it be strictly from a christian artist or from anybody and so while i may not agree with everything stated in a song i do believe that god will be found wherever he is looked for and that where words fail music does speak and so if you can get behind that if you enjoy that uh stick around watch the video if at the end you like what you see hit the subscribe button like the video turn on the notification bell to stay up to date because where words fail music does speak and we are going to be here always listening to what it has to say so without further ado let's get into the song hours by Ka. seconds, these minutes right here, you know what they belong to? Us. That's why they call them ours. Ours. This took sacrifice, much loss before the game paid a drastic price. Misfortune and disdain framed a shattered life. The forfeits and the pain, all the saddest sights. The coffins and the stains. On days we shot to save the children that we was Be there to spare the eyes from all the killers and the drugs Stepping and protecting them from filling any slugs Many ways mediate, be savior, healing any grudge Cause in and out the lab house was bad, so habits grew It's still cold, you don't grow real old, acting new And you can count from all my accounts, the stats is true To think someone's tickle pink when we just be black and blue and may you say we show a sympathy Cause I know essentially All the dastard actions that was happening I was meant to see Dealt a lot of work when I was broken and operative Felt a lot of hurt before I spoke this provocative Hard was ice for that cream trying to school money Now breathe for seas whether you throw dirt or roof for me These seconds, these minutes are hours These seconds these minutes are hours, these seconds, these minutes are hours, these seconds, these minutes are hours. Wow, so like I said, I I know nothing about Ka at all. Um but wow, what a what a song, man, and these lyrics, these are these are hard hard lyrics dude like he's telling a story and and one of the lines that really hit was uh to think some were tickled pink when we were beat black and blue i just dude that's uh that's getting into territory that is just it's challenging you know um it's it's sometimes uncomfortable to look it in the eye, but we have to. And uh, we can't ignore abuse. We can't ignore people who seem to take pleasure in it. Like, that's just, that's not okay, man. Ugh. This was crazy. But I like how he says, you know, all this, all the dastard actions that were happening, I was meant to see. And so, you know, he's looking at it and he says, you know, I believe I was supposed to go through that. I, I you know, I, I was meant to see this and uh, admits he felt a lot of hurt before speaking a little bit more provocatively. And so I, I with knowing very little, I almost wonder if he's going to take um, kind of how NF does, where he takes his life experiences and the pain wrought from that and tells his story in a way that connects with people. So they can understand, hey, I hurt, 
and this guy got through it, I can too, and that's something I could get behind. Let's keep going. Crooked boy, to honest man, the lad is gone, I speak promised land The common plan, Babylon, my thwarted thoughts Face for years, probably ran marathon I care to say if I ever sail away, the plan's Avalon Vent for all the days I spent positioned in the basement Feel I had to heal myself, physician and a patient This earth's home for all the wrong, my riff with immigration I boast to learn my culture before I pick the simulation The dose of lies I post you'll find Raps the wiser At most they rhyme the gross Mine's appetizing Peep the guard though I speak a hard flow of argo You still familiar But for real, I used to starve though The routes I scored that doubt the Lord ever condoned the Steps was reckless Reppin' from precious metals and stone but now knowledge power, this semblance, evidence shown Walk with ghosts and close family and friends I'm never alone, but these seconds These minutes are hours 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 Okay, hold it. That that whole second verse, there is so much there that I mean it has it has some spiritual undertones if if you really look at it. I mean, and he he doesn't even hide some of it. Like there's there's some spiritual undertones. Like I said, he's not even trying to hide it. Like he's got that line where he says the routes I scored, I doubt the Lord ever condones. And then um this this whole line i felt like i had to heal myself physician and the patient what <laughs> like dude that's some crazy imagery like it's the whole physician heal thyself kind of thing where you have to you know you have to not only diagnose yourself but you also have to be the one to make yourself better and that is dude that's not how we're designed like that's not how we were created when we when we look at the original design for creation, people weren't meant to try and get through life on their own. Like that's just not how this works. We're supposed to we're supposed to live within a community of people and that community is supposed to be the people you run to, the people you can trust, the people who've got your back and will support you when things get rough because uh, when things get rough, excuse me, because life sucks sometimes and we need to have people who've got our backs who will walk with us through the junk of life and be that support system and and be where we turn to and uh you know that's not to say the community replaces god because it can't and it's not meant to but that community is where we find the support and the encouragement and even uh, the accountability to live a life that is truly reflective of Christ. And so, man, that was really interesting. And uh, an interesting line here that I think is meant to be political. I'm, I'm going to attempt to kind of flip it, though. Um, he says, uh, Was urged home for all the wrong, my riff with immigration. I boast to learn my culture before I picked assimilation. And so... I mean, we can look at this from the political side of it, where you know, there's there's so many issues with immigration that you know it it there's room for improvement and and you know there's so many people who be American, you know, be this and and look, I I live in America. I'm I'm very glad to live in America because it is a country that has provided me the freedom to worship how I see fit and to pursue my God freely and to talk about Him freely without um, without the punishment that places like in the Middle East or even China um, might throw towards Christians. And so um, you can look at it from that aspect. But what I'm seeing here is I, I, I see, like I said, looking for God where he, uh, or finding God where he's looked for, looking for him here in these words. I see this in terms, and this is going to sound political and I don't mean it to, but when we see people who are super, super, 
super defensive about patriotism and how you've got to be American first. Look, if you're a Christian, that is wrong. You are supposed to be a Christian first. And so boast about your culture, po boast about being a Christian before you assimilate with the American culture, before you assimilate with your uh, uh, European culture, before you assimilate with whatever your culture, your heritage is, whatever that is. If you're a Christian, you need to be bragging about your Christianity. You need to be bragging about your faith in Christ because that's what's important. It's not about, am I American before? Am I, am I an American Christian? Am I a Canadian Christian? Am I a, a English Christian or, or a German Christian? Am I a Chinese Christian? No, no, no. It's Christian. That's that's the standard. It's, it's Christ. It's following him. It's not whatever version of Christianity that... If, if you have to define your Christianity beyond just being a Christian, you need to be taking a good hard look and finding the pieces that fit in with being a Christian and the parts that don't and acknowledging that and saying, hey, this doesn't fit with what the Bible says, so I need to I need to maybe tweak some beliefs of mine here. And so that's that's just interesting. Like I said, it's, it's a very loose connection, and I don't have – there's not a bit in me that thinks that is what Ka was going for here, but that's what I get from it. You know, and so this was interesting, and I, I love what he says, but now knowledge is power. Uh, this assemblance evidence shown, walk with ghosts of close family and friends, I'm never alone. And so I, I, I do agree, I think knowledge is power. I think it's um, important to be knowledgeable, um, but I also think that knowledge can become uh, a problem. You know, there's... Uh, song by wolves at the gate and i'm struggling to remember the name of it right now um uh evil are the kings that's the name of the song evil are the kings um from their album that came out last year and it talks about if knowledge is the power then evil are the kings we are and i take this as being christians who don't actually talk about their faith and so you know that's just again that's where my mind goes knowledge is power but if knowledge is power and we have this knowledge of the saving faith of christ then uh and we're keeping it to ourselves how messed up are we um you know and he talks about he's walking with ghosts of close family and friends which i just can't help but wonder man if he's having to walk with family and friends instead of with christ who in his life has how many christians has he come across that haven't reflected it you know and so it's just convicting me to be more consistent and more uh be who i say i am i guess let's finish this up and we'll talk about it a little bit more so accept this not for its intrinsic value but as a token Okay, so if you can look past the cussing, which I am able, I've said it before, I work in a foundry, I'm around it all day, so I can't look past it. It doesn't offend me or anything like that, but he says, he, he says some pretty direct stuff there. He says, um, build, you know, this is, this is real, what he's talking about. This is the real stuff. Build, forget all the destroying let's live and then he says you know forget all the hate man let's we need love and he's not wrong um i actually have been reading john cooper uh from skillet i've been reading his book that he just released called awake and alive to truth and he has um i just read a lot about love in one of his chapters and it is really interesting because he quotes uh, a theologian named aw tozer and uh, A.W. Tozer once said that God is love, but love is not God. And so I do think we need to see, we need to see more love. And I think um, outside of God, we're not going to see more uh, a more loving society. And I don't think that's that's really something that can be challenged or should be challenged because I think it's 
we, we look to our society and see that it is not becoming a more loving and caring society. It is becoming more violent and more hostile uh, towards just people, man. And so it's, I don't, I, I don't see outside of God. And as you know, the more the more postmodern we get, the more post truth we become, the less unity I see. Where that's supposed to bring a bunch of unity because, well, then we're just letting people do what they want. Well, okay, that's great. But what happens if somebody's truth overrides yours? Like, what happens if their truth, I mean, who, whose truth do we follow in that sense? And so it's just, it's really interesting. You know, yeah, we need more love. We do. We absolutely need to, we need to see more love in the world. But I don't think we see that outside of a relationship with God. And maybe you don't agree with me. That's okay. Um... I don't expect everybody to agree with me. I don't expect everybody to like what I've said, and that's that's totally okay. Um, but man, I, I enjoyed getting into this. I I kind of want to check out some of his other stuff because if I'm if I'm honest, I'm not too impressed like with the mix of this, the production. It's um, this sounds harsher than I mean it to sound, but it sounds almost like it was produced like like back in the mid to late '90s. What I would hear on the radio, like it sounds like it is coming from a radio station instead of being, you know, like, like thinking of like KB or NF or, um, Chance the Rapper or whoever, like you listen to some of their stuff and it's like, okay, there's some good production value here. And I get like, this was produced by himself. Like he's, he's all of this was him. So kudos for that. Like I love, uh, that entrepreneurial type of attitude that I'm going to do this myself. That's great. But I think, I think it needs a little refinement. Um, but I, I liked this because it didn't have, like, it was not a very structured rhythm. It was, the rhythm was him. He was the rhythm. He was what gave the song its its pacing. And that's cool. Like, I, I dig that. Um, so if I'm going to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this a 6. Um, because it had me thinking, you know, there, there's a lot to ponder here, a lot to, a lot to really um, challenge you and to make you think. And, and again... Getting past the the foul language at the end there, um, you know, where he's talking about this is real. Forget hate. Forget all that. Let's quit destroying. We need to build. We need to take care of each other. Like, we need to be loving. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I think that uh, was one of the more important parts of the song, in my opinion, and it came at the very end. So anyway, that's I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Good song. Uh, very interesting. I, I'm going to have to check out some more to see what else he's got here. Um... Thank you to Data Rage for suggesting this song. I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, I've got a good schedule in place now, so I should be kicking stuff back out with the same tenacity and consistency I had been uh, previously. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Get in the comments and let me know what you thought about this on a scale of 1 to 10. Where would you rank this song? Um, do you agree with anything I said? Do you disagree? Do you think I'm an idiot? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Um, and just, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think because I'm, I'm interested to hear from you. And if there's a song you want me to check out, it may take me a while to get to it, but leave a comment or you can send me an email at lyrical.resonance.ia at gmail.com and I'll add it to my list. But that's going to do it for us here in this video. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button, hit subscribe because where words fail, music does speak and we're going to continue listening to what it to what it has to say. I speak sometimes. But anyway, until our next video, take care and stay safe and be blessed. We'll see you soon.